Flat Stanley and the Bees. Stanley Lambchop lived with his mother, his father, and his little brother Arthur. Stanley was four feet tall, about a foot wide, and a half an inch thick. He had been flat ever since a bulletin board fell on him. Being flat didn't stop Stanley from eating just as much as a regular shaped boy. Are the honey buns done? He asked one summer afternoon. Not yet, said Mrs. Lambchop. I don't know why I'm baking. It's too hot today. We'll cool you off, said Mr. Lambchop. Boys, let's do the fan. Stanley flung himself on the floor. Arthur folded him up like an accordion. Then Mr. Lambchop grabbed Stanley by the ankles and flapped him back and forth. Whoosh! Much better, said Mrs. Lambchop. Run outside and play, boys. I'll let you know when the buns are ready. Let's go, said Stanley. We can use our new slippy slide. Stanley loved the slippy slide. He always slid faster and farther than anyone else. Outside, Stanley and Arthur spotted Tom and Sam from down the street. Want a slide? called Arthur. Sure, said Tom. Let's play tag, said Sam after a while. Okay, said Stanley. You're it. Stanley loved tag, too. He could bend and twist so he was almost impossible to catch. How about hide and seek, Tom suggested next. That was Stanley's favorite game of all. He fit into the best hiding places. This is perfect, Stanley thought, curling up inside a tire swing. No one will ever find me. Then he heard a sound. Eek, someone cried. Stanley leaned out of the swing. Found you, said Arthur. No, you didn't, said Stanley. Don't you hear that sound? I think someone's in trouble. The boys listened. Eek, came the cry again. Stanley and Arthur followed the sound up a hill. Sam hurried after them. What's going on? Sam asked. Before Stanley could answer, he heard another sound. An angry sound. Buzz. Oh no, said Arthur. It's Tom. Their friend stood like a statue, too scared to move. A swarm of bees buzzed around him. I was hiding behind a tree, Tom squeaked. I must have bumped a beehive. Eek. Arthur, yelled Stanley. Let's do the fan. Got it, Arthur said. Stanley flung himself on the grass. Arthur folded him up like an accordion. Then Arthur grabbed Stanley by the ankles and tried to flap him up and down, but he couldn't do it. Stanley was too heavy. Sam rushed over to help. One, two, three, flap, Arthur called. Together they fanned Stanley with all their might. Whoosh! The blast of air blew the bees away, but not very far. The boys took off down the hill. The bees came after them. They're catching up, Tom yelped. Then Stanley saw something, the slippy slide. Stanley let the others sit on top of him. Whis! They sailed along and landed with a wet plop at the lamb chop's back door. The boys raced inside. And so did the bees. Here they come, moaned Arthur. Eek, squeaked Tom. But then the swarm swerved. What? Where? Began Stanley. And then he gasped. The honey buns. Sure enough, the sweet sticky buns were covered in sweet sticky bees. Oh dear, cried Mrs. Lambchop walking into the kitchen. Then Mrs. Lambchap started to laugh. It is too hot for warm buns anyway. You know what we need, boys.
ice cream. The end.